Hello, welcome to Free School Exam Preparation. Today, we're going to talk about Edexcel International AS and A Levels Decision Mathematics One. In this lecture, we'll discuss Chapter Three: Algorithm on Graphs. Okay, let's take a look at the first algorithm, which is called Kruskal's algorithm. Okay, so the goal of the Kruskal algorithm is to find a minimum spanning tree. Okay, so in the previous lecture, we've talked about what is a tree, what is a spanning tree, and now we are going to introduce what is a minimum spanning tree. So first, a tree is a graph. So we require all the vertices are connected, and there is no cycle in the graph. So think about if we have a point here, a point here, a point here. So this is a cycle. And we don't allow the cycle to appear in the tree, and the minimum spanning tree is a subgraph of、um, this graph G, and we require it includes all of G's vertices. And what does minimum mean? So minimum means if we have the edges. Um, like left, and we use the edge to connect the vertices. Right? We hope the sum of the edge weights can be minimized. Okay, so Kruskal algorithm can help us find the minimum spanning tree of a graph. So now let's take a look at one example. So this is from page fifty-three of the textbook, question one B. So we are going to apply the Kruskal algorithm. So the first step of the algorithm is to sort all the edges in descending order of the weight. Ah,、uh, in sorry, ascending order from the, of the weight. Okay, so that means we are going to look at the weights here. So the smallest one is B F, and it is two. And after that, we have this F G, which is three. And then we have this is B G four, A B which is four, right? And then five we have A G, and we have C E, and six we have B C, and G E. Okay, and seven is A C, and F E is seven, and uh C D is also seven. D E is eight. Okay, so we've sorted them in ascending order. That's first step. The second step is we are going to select the edge of the least weight to start the tree. So this is B F. So we are going to have this edge here. Okay, so after that we are going to consider the next arc. So this will be F G, right? So if we link this edge, we will have a cycle. Then we don't draw this edge. However, if this does not give us a cycle, then we need to select this edge. So that means we will select F G because there is no cycle. Okay. So we look at the next one, which is B G. So if we link B G. So we will have a cycle B F G here, which is not allowed. So in this case, we are going to reject this edge. Okay. So the next one will be A B. So there is no cycle. So we link this A B. Okay. So what will be the next one, which is A G? So if we link A G, will there be a cycle? It is right. We'll have A B F G A a cycle. So we will reject this edge. Okay. So let's look at C E. So if we link C E, there is no cycle. So we have this、uh, edge here. Okay. So the next one will be B C. Okay. So B C. If we link B and C, there will be no cycle. So we just link them. Okay, how about next one, G E? So if we link G E, we will have a cycle. Why? Because we have B F G E C B, right? So we will reject this G E. 
Next one will be AC. So if we link AC, we'll have A, B, C, A, a cycle. So we reject. And FE, same thing. So we have B, F, E, C, B. So we reject. And then we'll have CD. So if we link CD, there is no cycle. Okay, so next one. Um, actually here, all vertices have been connected. So in this case, we don't need to continue the process. So this spanning tree is done. Okay, so we can draw this out. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Okay, and then you can also calculate the sum of the weights, right? So we have this is 4 plus 6 plus 5 plus 7 plus 2 and plus 3. Okay, so maybe we can try another example. So this is from page 54, question 4. So we want to find out the minimum spanning tree. So we apply this cruise coast algorithm. So first, we are going to sort the edges by their weight in ascending order. Okay, so the smallest one will be 0 0.8. So we add this to our tree. So next one will be 1.1. So if we link this, um, there is no cycle, so we can link them. Okay, so the next one will be 1.4. So we, if we link them, no cycle. So we can link them here, right? So the next one will be 1.6. Okay, so still we can link them because there is no cycle. Next one will be 1.7. So if we link this 1.7, we will have a cycle here. So M to C to S and to R M. So we will reject this edge. Okay, so the next one will be 1.9. So if we link this edge, so no cycle, so we can link it. Next one will be 2.3. So if we link this 2.3, no cycle. Um, so, sorry, actually next one should be 2.1, but we need to reject, right? Because if we put 2.1, we'll have cycle here. Okay, so what will be the next one, which is 2.8. So there are three edges of 2.8. Doesn't matter, we can just try one by one. So maybe we'll go with the first one. So if we link this Sally's with this Sadus, so we'll have cycle, so we'll reject this one. And if we link this Sally's with Shubery, so we'll have a cycle here, we'll reject. So this 2.8, no problem, so we can link it. Okay, so next one is 2.9, right? So if we link this 2.9, we will have a cycle here, right? The big one, so we will reject. Okay, so the next one will be 3.1, so we just link it. Okay, so we've linked all the vertices. So in this case, we don't need to consider the other edges. So we are done with this spanning tree. So if you want to draw it out, so you can just write down the vertices name and just use the edge, like here highlighted in red to connect them. And also you can calculate the total um, sum, I'm sorry, the sum of the weights, right? So that should be the minimum. Okay, so let's take a look at the second algorithm, which is Prim's algorithm. And it is still used to find the minimum spanning tree. So let's just use one example to illustrate how this algorithm works. So this is from page 56, question 3. So what we need to do is we can choose any vertex to start the tree. So it's up to you. Maybe we just go with alphabetical order. We choose A. Okay, so now we look at the arc. So which links the points not in the tree with the point in the tree. So here, there is only one point in the tree, which is A, right? So it can be connected to H, to G, to B. So which one should we choose? So we are going to choose the one with the smallest weight. So it should be H. Okay, so now we look at the vertices not in the tree and also the vertices in the tree, right? So, so far we have two vertices in the tree, AH 
and we look at the edges which connect with uh, vertices not in the tree and also A or not in the tree with H. Okay, so for A here, we have 2.3, 4.6. And for H, we have 2.5 and 5.2. So we can write this out, 2.3, 2.5, 4.6, 5.2, and we choose the least weight, which is 2.3. So that means we are going to connect G with A. Okay, so the vertices in the tree, now we have A, G, H. And now we look at the edges, which connect the vertices not in the tree with A, with G, with H. Okay, so with A, so we have 4.6, right? So B to A. With G, so we have GF, which is 8.7. And with H, so we have CH, which is 5.2. Again, we are choosing the smallest, which is 4.6. So we have this one, right? So now we'll have four points in the tree, A, G, B, H. And then we look at the vertices between the, um, sorry, the edges between the vertices not in the tree with those four in the tree. Okay, so for A, no more edges, right? So for B, we have BC, which is 2.4. Uh, BD, which is 3.5. BF, 3.4. And for G, we have GF, which is 8.7. And for H, we have HC, which is 5.2. And we choose the smallest one, which is 2.4. So that means we are going to connect BC. Okay, so now we have A, B, C, G, H in the tree, right? And then we look at the edges. So to uh, C to D, so this is 3.1. B to D, 3.5. B to F, 3.4. And G to F, 8.7. We choose the least value, which is 3.1. So that means we are going to connect C and D. Okay, so after that, we'll have A, B, C, D, G, H in the tree. Now we look at the uh, edges again. So from B to F, which is 3.4. B to D, D is already in the tree, so we don't consider this one. And then we have D to E, which is 3.7. And G to F, which is 8.7. So still, we're going to choose the smallest, which is 3.4. Okay, so now we have A, B, C, D, G, F, H in the tree. Okay, so we only have E not connected, right? So E can be connected to D, which is 3.7, or E can be, can, can be connected to F, which is 2.8. So in this case, we are choosing the smaller one, which is 2.8. Okay, so now all the vertices have been connected. So we've done with this minimum spanning tree. Okay, so the difference between the prim algorithm and Kruskal's algorithm is here, we don't sort the edges, but instead we look at the vertices. So we keep adding vertices to the tree, and then just from those vertices in the tree to the vertices not in the tree, we look at the edges. Okay, so we can try another example. So this is on page 56, question 5. So we want to use Priest algorithm. Up to you, which one do you want to start? Maybe we go with alphabetical order again. So we go with A. Okay, so now in the tree, let's just do this. In the tree, right? We have A. So A can be connected to B, which is 4. A can be connected to C, which is 12. So we choose the smaller one, 4. Okay, so now we have A and B in the tree. So A can be connected to C. And B can be connected to C or D, right? So 8 is the smallest, so that means we choose this one. Okay, so now we have A, B, C in the tree. Now from B to D, we have 21. And C can go to D. C can go to E. Right, and A, there's nothing, because if A, uh, we connect with C, but C is already in the tree. Okay, so among these three numbers, 10 is the smallest one, so we choose C, D. So we have A, B, C, D in the tree. 
Okay, so from A, nothing else, right? From B, um, so we can't do any edge with the vertices not in the tree. So from C, we have CE, which is 11. And from D here, we have 9. And D to F is 10. D to J is 24. So we choose the smallest one, which is 9. Okay, so now we add E into the tree again. So A, B, C, D, E. All right, so uh, from D to J, so we have 24. D to F, we have 10. And from E to G, which is 16, right? So the smallest one will be 10. So we choose here. So now F is in the tree. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so from D, we can go to J, which is 24. From E, we can go to G, 16. From F, we can go to G, 8. F to I is 8. Um, so up to you, which one do you want to choose? So you can choose any of them. Maybe we'll just go with uh, alphabetical order again. So G, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, right? G is in front of I, so that means we can connect here. Okay, so G is added to the tree. So now we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so G will go to H, so 8. F go to I. Um, 8, sorry, D go to J, which is 24. Okay, so the smallest one will be 8, so we can either choose FI or choose GH, HI, so H is in front of I, so maybe we just go with G, right? Okay, so now we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H in the tree. Okay, so H to L is 6. Uh, H to I is 19, and F to I is 8, and D to J is 24. So the smallest one will be 6, so it goes to here. Okay, so now we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, L in the tree. Okay, so L to K is 7, H to I is 19, F to I is 8, um, D to I is uh, D to J. Sorry, is twenty four. So the smallest one will be seven. So now K is in the tree. A B C D E F G H L K. Okay, so now we uh, look at the edges again. So K to I eight, F to I eight, um, D to J twenty four, and K can also to J seventeen. Okay, so the smallest one will be 8. So up to you. You can choose K to I or F to I. So maybe we go with alphabetical order. So F is in front of K, right? So we just link uh, I here. Okay, so now I is added to the tree. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, L, K. Okay, so we just need to link this J. So I to J is 9. K to J is 17. D to J is uh, 24. So this 9 is the smallest. Okay, so we've done this spanning tree. Okay, so now let's take a look at how we can apply the prime, uh, prime's algorithm on the distance matrix. Okay, so let's just use this as one example. So first, we are going to choose any vertex to start the tree. So maybe we can choose A, we just go with alphabetical order, right? And after we choose A, so we are going to delete the row of A. And we are going to label the column of A as 1. So now we look at the labeled column. In here, we only have one column, which is labeled, right? And we want to choose the smallest value here. And also, this value will not be deleted. So it is 35. OK, so that means A will be connected to D, and the distance is 35. So D is chosen, so that means we are going to delete the row of D. And also, we are going to label the column of D. So now we have two labeled columns. And among those uh, undeleted numbers in these two columns, we are going to choose the smallest one. So this is 42. OK, so this is from A, right? So we know A will be linked to H, and the distance is 42. Okay, so we are going to delete the row of H, and then we are going to label the column of H. 
Okay, so now we have three columns labeled, and then we're going to choose the smallest undeleted value among those three columns. So here we have 47 smallest, and this one is greater than, and this 48 is greater than 47. Okay, so we are going to choose this 47, right? So A will be linked to F, and the weight is 47. So we are going to delete this F, and then we'll label this with 4. Okay, so now we have four columns. Now we choose the smallest value among those four columns and undeleted. Um, so here we have 53, and this one 58, so 53 is smaller. And here we have 61, so 53 is still smaller. But here we have 48, right? So we choose this one. So that means H will be connected to uh, E. And the weight is 48. Okay, so now we delete this E, and then we label it. Okay, and then we choose the smallest value among those uh, five columns undeleted, right? So here, 53, and nothing smaller here, uh, nothing smaller here, nothing smaller here, and this 52 is deleted, and here, 52, right? So this 52 is um, the smallest. So this is from H to G, which is 52. Okay, so we delete this row G, and the column G will be labeled with 6. Okay, so among those 6 labeled columns, can we find our smallest value? So here we have 53, and here nothing smaller, nothing smaller, uh, no, and then 53 is the smallest, right? Okay, so this is from A to C, which is 53. Now we delete the row 50, uh, C, and then we label this with 7. Okay, so now let's take a look at which one is smallest. So here is 84, 71. 71 is smaller, and here we have, what do we have, 142. Um, and we have 61 smaller and nothing, right? So maybe 61 is the best choice. So that's F to B, 61. Okay, so we delete this one. And also, we'll label B as 8. Okay, so all vertices have been labeled. So we are done with this um, um, minimum spanning tree. Okay, so we can take a look at another example here. So still, we want to use the prim algorithm to find out the uh, minimum spanning tree. So we can choose any vertex to start with. Uh, so here we have x, maybe we go with x, right? So we will first cross out this row x, and then we'll write x here. And then we'll label this column x, and we look at the labeled column here. The minimum value will be e, 26. So x will be connected with e, 26. Okay, so we cross out this uh, row e, and we label the column e as 2. Mm -hmm. So in the X column and E column, we look at the smallest undeleted value. So this is 18. Okay, so this is for G, right? So E will be linked with G, which is 18. Okay, so we label this column G as 3. Okay, now we look at these three columns. Which one will be the smallest? So let's see. Um, we have G here, smallest 25, and here's 23. And for the first one, okay, 23 is the smallest, right? So which is H, and we use E to link H. Now we delete this row, and we uh, label H as column 4. Okay, so which one will be the smallest? So for column 1, as uh, our column X, uh, 40, no, actually it's the smallest is 65, and here the smallest is 37. Uh, here we have 29 is better, and here we have 25. So 25 is the smallest, right? So here, so H is linked with A, and it's 25. Okay, so we can delete this row, and we'll label A here as 5. Now we look at the column here, which one is the smallest. So A here, we have 22, right? So anything else, AF, 20. Okay, this is smallest, so 20. 
So A will go with F, which is 20. And then we delete this row F and label the column here, 5. OK, so there is a small one, 16. So maybe 16, I think that's the smallest. We just circle here. So F go with B, 16. So we cross out this row, and we label B as uh, 1, 2, 3, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here should be 6. Actually, B will be 7. OK, so now we look at the smallest. So for this one, no small. So here's 22. This one, 24. Here we have 24. OK, so 22 will be smallest. So this one, right? So we cross out this uh, row D. So this is from A to D, 22. And we label this will be 8, right? So everything small. So for A here, um, the smallest is quite large. This is 30. And for D, E, F, I think this 24 is quite small, right? So this is from F to C. OK, so F to C, 24. So we delete this one, and then we label C, which is 9. OK, so we only have one unlabeled. So which one is the smallest one? So just basically, only everything has been crossed out. So we just look at the last row here. So this 26 is the smallest. So C to I. C to I, 26. And then we cross out this row I, and we label it 10. OK, so we've done with this minimum spanning tree. So let's just take a look at the syllabus here. So let's just go up. So we've talked about the minimum spanning tree by using the Prims um, and Kruskal's algorithm. And the matrix representation for Prims algorithm is expected. So we've done this. And drawing a network from a given matrix and writing down the matrix associated with the network will be involved. OK, so we've talked about this as well. OK, so that's everything for this lecture. We hope you have enjoyed it and wish you good luck with your exam. If you are interested, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Free School Exam Preparation. Thank you.